y'all knew how much I go through for these videos, I don't even know if the camera's focusing. I just have to guess. Um, I found a big mistake on my website. I hadn't done all of the math wrong for when babies can go home by a solid two weeks. And I was recording this video and reading out the dates and go, wow, sounds awfully young. Um, it was by two weeks. So these are the dates. We have Tink and Packs of Punch. We have a little tort dough. It will be six weeks or reservable age the 15th and can go home the 29th if I don't grow this little one out. Toffee and Charles, born the same day. We have three sable points, a buck and two does, and we have two tort does. I'll most likely be keeping one of the sable point bucks and maybe a doe from this litter. They can also be reserved the 15th and can go home the 29th. Then we have Pancakes and Packs of Punch Babies, same breeding that gave us Pinecone, and if you did not do, know, she did very well at a very young age and got her senior leg and now became a mama. Um, she had two, two little bucks, and as you know, also know, I don't keep any more bucks out of Pancakes because I have Charles and nothing beats him. Literally nothing. Um, and these guys are reservable, the 16th and can go home the 30th. Then bottle cap on Charles, we have two torts, a little buck and a doe, and I'm very fond of both of these. I'll probably be keeping the doe. Um, it's between this doe and Tink's doe. And these guys can be reserved the 17th and can go home the 31st. Looking at pregnancies now, we have chocolate truffle and Charles, and if you didn't know, this gave us Kelso, the little blue tort powerhouse that ended up selling because he was a buck, hoping to get him in doe form. She is due the 6th, and she palpated pregnant. Syrup and Packs of Punch, this gave us Hawaiian Punch and Power Punch. Two little bucks, again, I want this as a doe, and perhaps Dilute, because I know they both carry Dilute, and I think she might carry Rue, and I know for a fact he does. She's also due the 6th and palpated pregnant. And then we have Dewdrop and Charles, and I have very sneaking suspicion that Charles carries um, Rue because he gave the Sable Points and in that litter the Dam's Dam carries Shaded and Charles' Sire and his Dam's Sire carry Rue. So I'm very suspicious that he also carries it. She is due the 14th of next month and she is also palpated pregnant. And then both Pank, uh, Pinecone was bred to Pax and Toffee was bred to Frost and they are both due the 24th. So that's what we're looking at right now. Um, today is the 27th of December, 2022. I plan to do a barn tour before the year is over, and I want to sell a little gr grow out dough. Um, and I was very vague on which one because I'm still very much deciding. But currently it's looking like um, the syrup baby because broken. And I bred her two packs, and I think the packs babies turned out better. So yeah, that's what we're looking at. She'll be priced at $175, and she will go up for sale tomorrow, um, depending on how early I get up in the morning. So yeah, that's what we're looking at, and I, you know, I'm a bit sorry that you hear the little clicking with the sh shutter and focus adjusting. I've never used this camera for filming, um, except for once, and it was in the rain, and it was like a year ago. Oh no, that was a different camera. It was a Nikon. Um, so we'll see how this works out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless.